long, long ago, there was a tiny little girl born in the petals of a flower. And when full grown, she was no bigger than your thumb. And that is how she got her name, Thumbelina. Thumbelina wore a dress made of flower petals and powdered her nose with the pollen of a cherry blossom. She was truly a child of the flowers. During the day, she would play in her boat made from a tree leaf. And at night, she would tuck herself snugly into her bed made from a walnut shell. But then, one night, What a lovely girl. My, wouldn't she make a fine bride for my son? Wow, what a beautiful girl. I do, you like her, Ribbit. And I want you two to be married. <laughs> Hello, dear. I'd like to introduce you to my son, your husband-to-be. Husband? <laughs> the next day, Mrs. Frog left Thumbelina on a lily pad in the pond so that she could not run away before the wedding. Thumbelina was so sad. She just could not stop crying. The fish in the pond took pity on her and joined together to set her free. lily pad raft drifted farther and farther from the frog pond. Whee! This was the first time she had ever seen the world outside, and she was amazed at its beauty. By and by, her raft came to rest near a lovely bed of flowers. There, Thumbelina decided to make her home. She had plenty of nectar to sip, and nuts and berries to eat, so it was really quite pleasant. But eventually, summer's warmth gave way to winter's chill. The flowers withered and died, and the berries were soon gone. Thumbelina was left with no home and no food. She had no choice but to search for shelter. could go no further. She lay down in the snow. Brr, how cold. Oh, how fortunate. The good and kind Mrs. Mouse had found Thumbelina out in the cold and brought her safely into her snug and warm little den beneath the snow. And that is how Thumbelina began her life with Mrs. Mouse. To repay her for her kindness, Thumbelina worked very hard all winter long helping Mrs. Mouse with the housework and the cooking. On her part, Mrs. Mouse quickly grew to love Thumbelina, just as though she were her own daughter. It was a good life for both of them, and they were both very happy. But 
One day, they had a visitor. The mole that lived just down and under the lane. Huh? Hmm. Hmm? It's getting clearer now. Whoa! Yay! I found my wife at last. Oh, Thumbelina, you're so lucky. He's the richest man around. Thumbelina didn't know what to do. Of course, the idea of marrying the mole was no more appealing than marrying the frog. But on the other hand, Mrs. Mouse was so happy, she couldn't break her heart. The mole grabbed Thumbelina and started off to show her his home. Of course, he lived at the end of a cold and damp tunnel where no light could filter in at all. For to a mole, nothing is as terrible as sunlight. Oh! Hey, what's going on here? Where'd that come from? Oh, it's a swallow, and it's hurt. Well, serves him right. That's what he gets for flying around like a crazy fool. Come on, let's go. At her first chance, Thumbelina snuck back to the wounded swallow, covered him with straw, and did her best to make him comfortable. Oh, my poor, poor little swallow. And soon, a wonderful thing happened. Oh, he's alive! He's alive! From that day on, Thumbelina did her best to tend his injured wing and nurse him back to health. Just as the first blossoms of spring were bursting forth, the swallow had recovered enough to take to the skies again. But before leaving, he thanked Thumbelina and vowed to repay her one day for her kindness. But springtime also meant that it was time for her marriage to the mole. Oh, dear. If Thumbelina marries him, she may never see the sun again. The wedding was about to begin. Oh, what a lovely bride you'll make. Thumbelina just had to take one last look at the beauty of the outdoors. It looks like I'll never see sunlight again. Oh, smell that fresh air. The springtime sun was strong and refreshing, and a cool breeze caressed the thousands of flowers in the meadow. But this may be Thumbelina's last chance to experience these joys. Flowers are so lovely, and the sun is so warm. How sad. Why are you crying, Thumbelina? Thumbelina told the swallow of her promised marriage to the mole. Where is my bride? It's Mr. Mole. Quick, hop up on my back. But if I run away, I'll hurt Mrs. Mouse's feelings. But Thumbelina, you've worked hard all winter, and you have more than repaid Mrs. Mouse for her kindness. Quick, let's go now. I... I... No time to lose. Okay. Come back, come back. So the swallow carried Thumbelina farther and farther away, soaring gracefully through the clouds until they reached the magic land of flowers where she had been born.
there she met a handsome flower prince, and they fell in love and lived happily ever after in their magic kingdom. So the next time you see a flower, take a good look inside. You just might find another charming Thumbelina.